I'm Manuel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Centre. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Centre. I hope you're all doing well. Double upload today. Earlier on in the day, I uploaded a video talking about Norwich City's fixtures, um, which is out now on the channel, of course. And in today's video, talking about Norwich City's 6-0 win over MK Dons, and it's felt like so long, almost an eternity, um, when I've been able to talk to the camera and talk to you guys about Norwich City winning a game of football. But here we are, Norwich City 6, MK Dons nil. And yes, it's a pre-season game, the first pre-season game. Um, yes, it's, it was against a really poor um, opposition, although MK Dons are, are, are a League One team who, you know, who has aspirations to try and reach, you know, the top half of the table. Um, and yes, it was early in pre-season. Yes, they were a League One team, but Norwich City put in an absolutely fantastic performance. High scoring win. And that's exactly what you, what you want to see in pre-season. Of course, we can't read too much into it. Norwich City um, had a pre-season friendly against Tottenham um, before um, before the regime of the Premier League season and 1 2 1 with a beautiful Mario Rancic, uh, Rancic 120th minute winner. And of course, Norris City, um, after that pre season game, went on to lose every single Premier League game and um, go on their worst run in their 118 year history. So let's not read too much into pre season friendlies, but of course, it's always nice to see Norris City do well. Uh, Daniel Farker versus Russell Martin on the sidelines, expecting a little punch up in a pre season friendly, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if those two have the best relationship. But it was always good to get a, a pre-season friendly out of the way. And uh, Norris City played really well. I'm going to go through the game. I'm going to be going through the goals and the highlights. And maybe some of the things we learned. And maybe some of the things we didn't learn. As it was still only one game in pre-season. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. I'll be talking through the goals. And as I said, some things we learned. And if you are new to Norris City Central, please do hit that subscribe button. Match reviews, match previews and a lot of Norris City content coming up. As Norris City hope to rise again into the Premier League. Uh, but Norris City started well. I really liked the team lineup. It was really good to see Josh Martin get some minutes who could feature, you know, maybe more regularly than we expect. Uh, of course, Daniel Farker like and likes to give you for chance. And yeah, it was quite a nice team. Nice to see Lucas Ripp play in the middle. Good to see the likes of our new signings like Kieran Dow, Plaquetta play, and of course, Daniel Sinali, who who played up front. Could we see Sinali play up front? Um, who knows where he plays at the moment, but he's a player I'm really excited to see. But Norris City played really well in this pre-season friendly. MK Dons were kind of their masters of their own downfall, where they did some really poor goals or conceded some really poor goals. I mean, Norris City's first goal, um, it, it, it kind of involved all four of the attacking players, which was nice to see. Borjeta closes down the MK Dons goalkeeper. Kieran Dow presses high, and a lot of these goals do did come from Norris City pressing high, and I expect us to play like that in the Championship. Um, MK Dons lose the ball. Daniel Solani runs in, lays it off to Josh Martin inside the box, 12 yards out, and a lovely finish into the top corner. And Josh Martin scored again. Josh Martin scored two goals, a great, a great performance by him. Pojeta, this time the provider, on the left hand, left, left wing. Not quite sure if Pojeta is going to play the left or the right wing. Um, and there's a lot of Norwich City players, particularly attacking players like Pojeta, like Sonali, even maybe the likes of Cantwell and Josh Martin. You don't exactly quite know maybe where they're going to play in that front three, which is going to be very interesting to see when they do. Pojeta showed his pace down the wing. Can't wait to see him blistering past defenders in the championship. That's going to be great. And hopefully we can see it in the flesh. Puts a lovely ball in. And Josh Martin, yet again, about 12 yards out. Beautiful control. Um, as this was a low cross drilled in. And a nice finish into the bottom right-hand corner. And Josh Martin's a player I'm really excited to see play more um, for Norwich City. I think he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Norwich City went 2-0 up. And then... Um, the curse continued. And what curse is that? The penalty curse, of course. Um, Norris City were atrocious at penalties in the championship. I think we had seven penalties and I think we missed six of them. Um, I think all, all of our penalty techers at least missed one penalty. We were atrocious at penalties. Um, and, you know, last season in the in the um, Premier League, we were relatively good at penalties. I think we scored both of our couple of penalties and um, did really well in the Tottenham penalty shootout. But, yeah. Adam Eder misses a penalty, which is not always the greatest thing to see, of course. Um, Adam Eder, though, I'm expecting him to have a really bright future, and he scored in this game as well. Um, so we miss a penalty in the 49th minute, but Norris City then make it 3-0, and we score from a corner. What is this? Norris City scoring from a corner is unbelievable. A nice cross in from Emi Wendia. Mavio Rancic flicks it on him. Who is it at the back post? Marco, born to, go born to score goals, stupid them to make it 3-0 to Norwich. Norwich then made it 4-0. Max Ahrens yet again pressing high, and so many of these goals came from Norwich pressing high. Max Ahrens intercepting the play. 
through ball into Adam Eder, one on one with the keeper and a nice finish from Adam. I really want to see him given a lot of a lot of minutes for, for Norris City this season. I and I expecting and I hope he's gonna be the second choice striker for Norris City. Norris then make it five deal and who scored O'Neill Hernandez. When O'Neill's on the ball, I sometimes don't know what he's going to do. And I don't think even O'Neill knows what he's going to do. Um, he's in the blocks. He turns inwards. He turns outwards. He's twisting his body around. I don't know what he's doing. Doing some kind of Cuban dance. I don't know. Um, but a fantastic finish from him right into the top corner. And it's nice to see O'Neill Hernandez do well. And I expect him to play a big part this season. I think O'Neill probably going to play on the left for Norris this, this season. But you've got Anel, You've got Todd who can play on the left. You've got Josh Martin who could come in. Pojeta can even play on the left, although he might be um, positioned on the right. So many attacking and, and great flair players, and I'm sure Anel can have a big impact. And then Norris City make it 6-0, and who scored? Emmy Buendia. Please don't take my Emmy away. Norris City pressing high up the field again. Marco lays it to Emmy, and Emmy makes it 6. And Norris City comp uh, complete an, an, a, a huge win. Of course, it's only pre-season, but it's fantastic to see Norris City you know, have a big win. Um, against a decent team, I know MMK Dons probably didn't play their best, but they're still a decent League One outfit, of course, in the same league as Ipswich Town. Um, Ipswich, oh, just, 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 just stagnating and just stagnating in League One. Ouch! Um, but no, fantastic win for Norwich City. They now move over to Germany, um, and that could be a really interesting, you know, pre-season friendly. I think we played two or three games in Germany, and then on the fifth of September, after our Germany tour, we then have Luton in the Carabao Cup, and that's when Norwich City play their first game. Um, competitively back and that's going to be really interesting Luton I think we could have up to 15 internationals um, or 15 players out due to internationals which um, could be very interesting to see what kind of team we put out um, but no overall really happy with this 6-0 win a lot of positives to take I think Norris City what, what we learned from the game is that Norris City are going to press high and, and they're going to be a team who want to attack and want to control games um, as I said a lot of the goals came from Norris City pressing high and, and causing mistakes and uh Look, so much attack and talent. Five different goal scorers. I mean, who knows who's going to play on the left? You've probably got Todd, Anel, Josh Martin um, in the centre. You've got Marcus Jeeper and Kieran Dow, who um, could you know could play a lot for Norwich City next season. Todd can also play in the centre, and so can Daniel Sonani. And then on the right, you've probably got Emmy Wendy if he stays. Is of course going to be the first name on the right. But you've also got Poheta who can play on the right. Daniel Sonani who can play on the right. And then up front, of course, you've got Puki, Ida, and even Dan Daniel Sonali, who played up front in, in this pre-season friendly, could be deployed out there. So a lot of attacking talent and a lot of creativity, a lot of real good, exciting players going forward. I think Norris City now just need to focus on reassuring things at the back and maybe getting a new centre-back and just improving slightly at the back. But you look, it was a terrible Premier League season. We all know how badly things went and there has to be question marks made. But it's a new season. It's time to regroup. And I fully trust the people at the top. Stuart Webber is a very clever man and we're very lucky to have him, in my personal opinion. Yes, his recruitment was poor in the Premier League, but he's a fantastic fantastic person, fantastic man at the club. And we wouldn't have got to the Premier League without him. And Daniel Farker knows what he's doing at this level. I think he showed a bit of naivety in the Premier League at times, but he's a fantastic manager. One of the best um, I've seen at Norris City and I love his style of play and I love Farker. So there we go, 6 the win over MK Dons. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And a question to end the video, which player are you most excited to see play for Norris City next season? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Norris City Central if you're new and I'll see you later.